Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're going to start on a brand new version of my 13 kilo lifting robot Strange Young Man. This is of course uh, the old head from Strange Young Man. This is a fully 3D printed uh, head that was then painted and it actually weighs quite a lot. It's like 300 or 400 grams. Now uh, today's episode we're actually kind of going to sort this out a little bit so the new version of strange young man is going to be smaller and more powerful which means that anywhere i can save weight i am going to save weight so today we're going to do a whole bunch of different testing and bits and pieces trying to get the weight down on a whole lot of things so the head is one of the first things on my list i want to change uh from a 3d printed head to a vacuum molded head because the vacuum molded head is going to be lighter and stronger than the 3D print. The 3D print had lots of issues where it broke along layer lines and stuff like that. Uh, especially when it got hit by things, it broke very easily along layer lines and that just did not work for me very well. So I'm hoping if we can get some vacuum form pieces, those are going to be uh, lighter and stronger. The only problem with that is I don't have a vacuum form right now, so I'm going to have to make one in today's episode. Uh, along with that, we're going to do another couple of little bits and pieces here too. We're also going to try and cast silicon tires for these little brushless hub motors that I have here. This is the, they're just like a little scooter, uh, skateboard brushless hub motor. And they come with these cast urethane wheels, which have no grip at all. Like they are completely shiny and smooth, which is great for traveling on bitumen and things like that. But we're going to be in an arena and we're gonna have wood. So I wanna try and cast, uh, cast up some silicon ones and see how we go with that. And then finally, I have the actual weapon itself. So the weapon is gonna be a lifting arm again, and this time around, I'm gonna go brushless with that so I can get more power for less weight. So this is gonna be the brushless system. We have a 512 to one gearbox in this hand and a very powerful brushless motor in the other. So we're going to try and mount these together somehow in this episode. It might just be a 3D printed temporary thing right now, and then we'll look at maybe machining a new bit of aluminium to go between the two uh, for the future. But yeah, so that's the plan. So we've got a lot of stuff to do. First, I think we're going to 3D print some face paint plaint blanks that we're going to try and vacuum form, build the vacuum former and try that out. We'll print some silicon um, tire molds and see how that goes. And then I really don't know what we're gonna have to do here. There's gonna be a lot of modeling involved with that. So we'll see how we go. All right, let's get the printer fired up and get moving.
Okay, so this didn't quite go to plan. Uh, the vacuformer here, which was probably the main point of today, kind of fell over on a couple of major fronts. First of all, uh, these picture frames that I have, which I was going to use to clamp everything together, they're a little bit too thick, so my clamps don't really fit them, and the whole lot doesn't actually fit in the oven that I was going to use to heat the plastic up. So I can't heat plastic with this frame, which means I'm going to have to go out and buy some aluminium and make some frames of my own. I was hoping that these picture frames were going to offer a cheap, quick alternative to making my own frames, but that turns out not to be the case. Uh, yeah, on top of all of that, uh, the actual vacuum form itself, which is this guy here, seems to be okay, but my vacuum that I'm putting into the bottom of it isn't pulling enough of a vacuum to actually pull plastic down. It's fine around here, which is where the hole is for the vacuum cleaner, but then kind of out and around further, the vacuum just doesn't exist. So I, I'm going to see if I can find myself a secondhand shop back somewhere and see if I can get a bit more suction power in underneath this thing. If all of that doesn't work, it's probably going to need sealing around the edges and it might even actually need a brand new top plate with smaller holes because that might also be the issue here. Uh, so, mm, that did not go according to plan, but failure is fine. Failure is part of the engineering process. It is a step towards success. So, we are going to try and learn from these failures and I just want to put this out there that building a vacuum form isn't as easy as people on the internet make it out to be. I am now a person on the inter internet myself and I'm here to say not exactly as easy as all of that. Uh, because this vacuum form has taken up as much time as it has, even laser cutting all of the holes in it, it's taken up quite a lot of time. I've had to do some stuff off camera, so I did manage to mold up this very nice silicon tire. It is awesome and quite squidgy, which is going to be good. It's going to provide a lot of traction. It does seem to be a little bit heavier than the urethane, urethane uh, originally was, but I think that's going to be fine. This thing looks really cool. Uh, we're going to try and do a drive test of this before I actually take Strange Young Man over to compete, um, but I'm going to have to find the right flooring to do that because I don't really want to use these on a bitumen surface, which is obviously like a car park would be the best place to test the robot, but these would get chewed by the bitumen. So I have to try and find a better alternative for that. Um, yeah, anyway, on the whole, <laughs> kind of good and bad week this week. And yeah, we're definitely going to have to put out a new video in the future on the vacuum former. Probably I'll do a Tuesday video, just kind of doing an update, showing how I fixed the problems that I've had so far, and then testing the vacuum form pool on some models and some molds that I've made. I'll throw the 3D print up here because it's quite interesting. I like 3D printing and watching 3D things print. Anyway, I think that is going to be all for this week. Like I said, it's been a bit of a weird one. Things haven't quite worked as they should have, but that happens. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next video.